welcome it is time to set up for March um, as a continuation uh, of this of the themes I had going on in the previous months which I had flowers plants um, I decided to do lemons I think the <laughs> lemons oranges uh, for March and before I start with a monthly view I need, I always use my Hobonichi Weeks as a reference for uh, the days. So, yeah. okay. So, this is Wednesday. For all my numbers and lines, I like working with a Sakura Micron pen. I like to alternate between the 02 for text, 03 for lines, and 08 for bigger text, like titles, like the name of the month. And I also use occasionally the brush pen for to black out big chunks of text uh, that I'm working on. In February, I added the moon faces. I like seeing them, and I just like knowing when we have a full moon and a new moon. Uh, it's just for fun and yeah as usual i have my small calendar on the right that one is for birthdays and holidays For the illustration, I encourage you to be kind of messy. Um, I mean, it, it looks. I, I like the look of messy, shaky lines, and even with the watercolor, if you choose to work with watercolor, I like the look of the orange and the yellow going out of the lines and the green going out of the lines. Um, I really like that effect. So you don't have to be perfect at drawing. At drawing. I think it actually looks great if you have something that looks kind of messy and sketchy and I guess kind of unfinished. And to avoid smearing the illustration I just did, here I have a blue towel under my hand because I wanted to uh, take advantage of the natural light that I had left for the day and continue working on my tail for the month and this is how it looks. And as a final touch, I go over everything with more squiggly or shaky lines and have fun adding just extra dots and extra lines here and there. It never hurts. I think it adds to the look we're going for. Okay, for my weeklies, um this is what I was doing. I mentioned on my February setup and on the following video I did on how I'm doing my weeklies that I wanted to do a different kind of spread to track a wellness challenge that I took uh, just because I want to make this year kind of health focus. And well, it has been working very, very well. Um, I was realizing, I realized that I was basically writing down the same things over and over again because I'm tracking the vitamins and the supplements I'm taking in the morning and at night and the things I'm doing as part of my, of my wellness routine in the morning and at night. And I was basically writing the th same things uh, one day after the other and I was like, okay, let's simplify this. And I decided for March, instead of doing this uh, spread, this weekly spread again, um, kind of uh, made my tracking, my wellness tracking more simple and make it like an actual tracker. <laughs> uh, so this, the, the things I was writing every single day in the morning at night I decided to do morning, so here's the sun, 
and night here is the moon and i will write down the vitamins and the things i want to do as part of my wellness routine so that's one change i will be doing for my monthly cover on the previous months i only had like here uh, the name of the month and on this left page i had my goals for the month my personal goals for the month and i decided to switch it up and here I have the cover of the month, here's my tracker. I could do this with a brush pen, it also has a very good line width, but because I'm doing this free-handed, the kind of squared tip of this 08 gives me a little bit more control than the brush pen, but I guess this part depends on the kind of look you want for your final text. For this part I had to do several cuts when I was editing because I had to lean over my notebook a lot and I don't think anyone is here to see the back of my head. And again for all my smaller text I like working with the 02 micron and when I do my month in a list form, you know the days of the month, I like leaving at least one line or two lines to break apart my weeks. I find that visual cue very, very useful. So this is how my March cover is going to look. Here I have the title of the month. And on this side, this is where I'm going to write down the books I read during the month, the writing projects I worked on during the month, uh, what I learned, my sources of income, the videos I published, uh, Instagram posts. So this is basically my social media. This arrow is for upcoming, but uh, it's not so much for future planning because I do that in my Hobonichi weeks. This is mostly for uh, personal annotations on the things that worked uh, about this month's setup and the things I would like to change or improve. Those personal notes go in here and these two are related to wellness, uh, emotional and spiritual. And here I'm going to write the uh, vitamins and habits I want to make sure I remember every day for my uh, the, uh, morning and night. Uh, but I need to check uh, if there are changes for uh, March because um, I, may, I make adjustments every month. I started late January. I continued all of February and for March I think there will, there, there will be adjustments on uh, the habits I'm taking on for wellness. So I will write those later on when I check what I need to adjust. But yeah, this is March and now we continue to with the weeklies. Okay, for my weeklies, uh, like I showed you, I was doing this. But now I would like to go back to something like this, um, where I have. I, I will still. I, I will keep my two columns for personal and work related, but I will separate them. So on this side is going to be personal, right side uh, work related. I like these two columns because this is also what I have on, on my passion planner. But I will have these two sides for notes, which I have been missing. And this, all of this is going to be, I'm going to track it over here. Okay.
Okay. Uh, so that's it for March setup. Here I have month planning page. Uh, here I have the faces of the moon. I like having my tasks for the month in a list form. So this is basically uh, the Ryder Carroll's bullet journal method. I'm very happy with how this turned out more festive as March is the beginning of spring. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, then I have March. So this is my cover page for March. This is how I'm going to track my vitamins for morning and night. What I read, what I learn, what I write, uh, what I publish on my social media and my weeklies. So to clean up my spreads, I just pass the eraser And as a final touch, I like using this mild liner. I think I will use it over here, but in my weeklies, I will. So... titles I decided to not add them to the other weeklies because I want to give myself uh, freedom to I don't know write anything else maybe just blank space for notes uh, depending on what I need and how this spread is working on because that's basically the whole point is of doing a bullet journal um, you adjust as you see how things are working out for you. Don't ever feel like everything is set on stone. As you saw on January, this is how I started my weeklies. Then I switched to this, but then I decided um, this wasn't really working out. And then for January, I continued over here uh, because I was, started, was starting my health uh, challenge. So I kept adjusting my weeklies until I found something that worked for me. This worked for a while and now I decided that uh, I want to try this out. So give yourself the freedom to experiment. That's the whole point of working with a blank notebook. Um, and even my dailies. This, for example, is how I started my dailies. I was doing them uh, in two columns per page. And I mean, it was fine, but it felt too crowded. I was, I mean, I do appreciate having some blank space and I was not happy with this. I was not finding a pen that I liked on this paper and I kept experimenting with my dailies and I started using these stickers and this is where I felt like, okay, I like this. Uh, I just draw a line wherever I need to break, uh, you know, finish one day and start another one. And I'm very happy with this. I enjoy the white space. Sometimes I add some stickers to add some color to remember something I ate or some place I went to, and I'm loving this. So today is Saturday 25th. Here I'm going to have probably Sunday and Monday and I will start my March dailies probably on Tuesday over here and Tuesday I think it's the 28th so I'm not going to add the stickers for now because it depends on how I use the remaining space I have but yeah give yourself the freedom to experiment to adjust to change things and I hope this video was useful for you if you have questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.